Hey guys and gals, this is my second run to the Oak Red Zone in my three part run for the Red Zones up for Oak. Uh, I posted the first run and I do a total of three when I come up here to avoid wasting energy. Here we go. So this is how I farb the whole thing to get the most experience, take home what I want, and to make the best out of the energy I spent out here. Right now I've got three Glocks plus a little bit of an extra one. I'm, I've am i got four hatchets plus a little broken one. I think I'm, I always use three plus one, uh, plus a little part of one. So I think I might use all but most of one iron hatchet. This is my second run. Usually I'll do it with machetes and stuff, but I brought a lot of extra glocks. So I'm going to go ahead and use what I got. And first I got to set up two dead bodies close to my chopper so I can sort through what I have and dump things off when I need to. So here we go. Hopefully there won't be a big one because I don't stink. And just keep that in my extra slot. So I'm trying to lure a couple of people over to my chopper first. Come here, spitters. I know y'all exist. Oh, toxic! Hey, I killed five or six of these guys the first run. Oak Red Zone is a great place to farm these guys if you've got the 15 Toxic Abomination quests for the Raiders. And there's my first body, so that was either 6 or 7. And there's two bodies. Alright, cool. Now let's methodically go through and kill shit. Kill stuff. And, yeah, I just, one, two, three, four, cut over, and I try to do this in a very methodical order, so I don't miss anything. So here's seven or eight toxic abominations so far in a little bit more than one run. And with a Glock, I can uh, get those toxic spitters as they're running up on me without... Um... Ah! Die, buddy. Uh, without them spitting on me, usually. So that's good. I'm just going to fill up all my health and water and dump you off. And you off. Now, notice I'm not auto... I'm not using auto feature for anything right now. It's just to clear out the the mobs and the animals while I clear. Now with a melee weapon, it's a little harder to do this in a more methodical method. But on my third run, I will be showing how to do it with melee. I just don't like to be stinky when I come up here for my third run because you're more likely to run into the big one. But you get tons of Glocks from your, your your airdrops, from the crates in Alpha Bunker, things like that. And you never use all of your zip guns and your Glocks that you pick up from Red Zone farming crates. Ooh, toxic spit off. Alright, keep you in there. And just keep clearing across the map. And then I count one, two, three, four, and cut back across. Ah, another toxic. So this is eight or nine, I think. Eight or nine toxic abominations so far. In a little less than two runs now. 
And that about you. And I don't usually keep the fox fur just because I've got a full chest full of it at my base already. But if you need it, this is a good place to get it. Lots and lots of fox fur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, float the builder. We're, we're almost done killing all the mobs in here. Hey, buddy, how do I miss you guys? I'll run away. Okay, I'm gonna keep the bodies there so I can come down and get this guy and know where he left off. Keep clearing. Oh, I thought that was a. Hey, toxic abomination, nine or ten. Try not to get hit. This saves your armor. Keep put, putting space between you. Same rule I use when I when I do raids. Save your SWAT gear by running away. One, two, three, four. If you keep running away, you you'll have plenty of armor. To go again. I'll usually get like four or five runs out of a, a full set of SWAT armor for raids. Uh, I don't use SWAT armor except in raids in like four floor and hard mode for uh, Alpha Bunker. So the SWAT doesn't get used a lot. We're down to our last Glock in the inventory. We should be almost done killing everything. One, two, three, and four. It should be everybody, unless there's somebody here in the corner. Now you might get the random spawn or the random AI, but uh, usually by this time, once you've cleared everything out, they're usually gone. <laughs> But sometimes you get them. Okay, now that I've cleared everything, I'll make my bandages. This is a great place to farm for bandages. And let's see, I'll put you there. And let's just start auto farming. This is the after I kill all the mobs and the animals, I'll. Oh no, yeah, okay, we'll use that. Yeah, I forgot about that partial iron hatchet in my inventory. Let's go ahead and use it up. Normally, I, I don't have an iron hatchet in my inventory when I'm going around, but I filled my bike up with four iron hatchets, and then I've got the partial here. So one more swing on an oak should do it. <clears throat> yep. Okay, so now I've got no more iron hatchet in my inventory, so I'll be able to avoid wasting it on anything. So the reason I pick everything up is I use the berries and the mushrooms to keep my food and water levels up while I farm. So since I killed all the mobs, I'll just use up my mushrooms and berries as I go until I've got full food or I don't have any mushrooms or berries to use anymore. Now, people say that you have a chance for the, the toxic abominations to drop glue. I have not gotten any glue dropped from any of those guys yet. Not happened. I've killed quite a few in the red pine and rock zones, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Now, I also have a dry erase board that I use a lot. Uh, I keep the, the inventory of my materials at the tower, like how much weapons, how many bandages, food, 
nails, things like that, uh, bars, planks, tape, things that I need to make iron hatchets with. And I keep it on my dry erase board. That way when I'm ready to do another three oak red zone run, then I know exactly what I have there. I make 11 hatchets or bring enough materials for 11 hatchets total. But I usually short myself about 10, 15 tape because you get tape in all the boxes practically up here. So you'll find enough tape to complete 11 hatchets if you bring about 40 tape for 11 hatchets. So 55 iron, 33 planks, 22 nails, 40 tape is what I bring for materials for 11 hatchets. And just keep the tape that you find. So you'll find, definitely, definitely find tape out here in the chests, which we will do as soon as we're done picking up all these little loose things. And like I said, I don't use the hemp. I don't use a lot of pine logs or rocks. I don't, I, well, I use a lot of them at my base, but I don't bring them back from these zones because I don't want to waste that inventory space that can be taken up by oak logs or other important things like good weapons or glue nowadays. Uh, dog food. I'll bring full 20 stacks of dog food home. But once I finish farming out this zone, I put everything in the dead bodies that I left by the chopper. And I sort it all out at the end so I know exactly what I want to take. I prioritize what's important to me and then just kind of work down the list. So if I need rope, I'll keep the rope. If I need CAC cards, I'll keep those. If I find something really cool like a house plant, which I haven't actually brought home yet, it's still sitting at the watchtower body just kind of hanging out. I'll, I'll keep that, you know, and you can decide later on what to keep and what to toss. But this gets you the most experience in the zone. You clean out everything, pick up everything, chop down everything, mine everything, and you'll get more skill rolls more often for the least amount of energy spent. I'll either drive or run up to the watchtower I will sort through my dead body there. I'll decide what I want to bring for each run, one at a time. And then I'll walk from the watchtower to the red oak zone. And then you don't use any energy. In fact, you're building it up while you're walking. Go do something around the house. And then you come back once the notification pops up. Hey, you've traveled to your location. And you do this. So you're not on your phone all day waiting for your your bike to show up to where you want to go. You do other stuff in between. And that's how I can farm Alpha Bunker every two days. And this is how I can get my tasks done without wasting coins every two days. Now you do your chores or housework or whatever in between. Okay, so you have to craft gathering tool means you picked up everything in the zone. So go back down to those two red X's and your chopper and sort through everything. I can't remember which side. I always forget where I park. Ah, there I found it. So I'll keep that. That will toss all this stuff in the box. Except the cloth. The cloth I'll make bandages with. Um... The rocks, oops, the rocks and the trees we'll leave there. Pull the rope out. We'll use the, the mushrooms and the berries while we farm. And put the rope back over on this one. Now I didn't run into an AI this time. I'm surprised. Didn't have a lot going on this, this run. So... Let's put the bandage in the spot. We'll take everything we know we're not going to keep. I don't need rope at the moment. I don't need the hemp. I definitely don't need seeds. 
this other stuff can just hang out. And the next part is opening ch the trunks, the chests. So we'll come down to the corner. So I start out right. That bottom green spot, you want to get to the edge of that and then just start running up and count to four. One, two, three, four. Cut across and start looking for boxes. Well, this is a pretty close box, so we'll open that one first. First thing I'll do is dump off the stuff I know I'm not going to keep. And then decide what I want to keep out of it. I know gold bars aren't really that important right now, but I think they're going to be coming in handy sometime in the future. Sorry about that, another notification. Ooh, I'm getting thirsty. Tape. See, I told you. More tape. That's a chance at an aluminum bar. More beans. More water. Okay. Come back down to where I started at. Let's go ahead and use up those berries. Keep going. And the mushrooms. Um, we'll use some water. Because I was at 49 or something like that. And keep cutting across. Cut across and up. One, two, three, four. Cut back across. Try to stay as close as you can to a straight line following that little tick on your mini map. Did I open that one? Yes, I did. Back to where I started. One, keep going. And there's another box. Glue! Okay, that's five glue in two runs so far. Tyra has a chance at steel bar. Keep going across. One, two, three, four. Cut across. Did I open this one? Oh, no, I didn't. Four glue! Four in that run. So four so far on this run. Seven total so far. Beer can be turned into an aluminum bar. I don't usually recycle those anymore just because I have so much aluminum. But I do like to use them for my bait boxes. So I might keep it depending on what else I find. Not sure. Another gold bar. More water. More tape. Found nine tape so far. Nice keep cutting across. I'm still looking for mod recipes. I'm not finding any. One, two, three, four. Cut across. We're almost to the top, I think. These, the gold trees for the oak throws me off. I think they're chests sometimes. And I'll be like, oh, I missed one. But nope, it was because I am not watching carefully. One, two, yep, corner. Corner means no more boxes on that row. So let's go find our chopper again. Still no mod recipes. Two oak farms, no mod recipes. I I farmed the red rock zone twice and got two mod recipes. So whoever said this is the great place to get them, I'm not believing them. All right, so I put the stuff that I kind of might want to keep into this box. We'll put you in there, and we'll take the 20 wood and the 15 rock, because that's what you're going to pick up off the ground in here, is 20 wood, 15 rocks. Sometimes AIs drop more, but that's what you're going to find if you don't find any AI. We're not going to pull out the iron hatchets yet. What we're going to do, we're going to craft one regular hatchet and three of those, uh, two regular hatchets and three pickaxes. I'm going to set them up like so. And then I'm going to go on auto. And once I have enough materials for another hatchet, I'll make that. Usually three hatchets is all you need. But I always make three pickaxes first cuz sometimes you on if you're on auto you won't find the, the regular ore on auto that quick. 
So sometimes if, if you just make hatchets, 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 and you don't make enough iron pickaxes or regular pickaxes, you won't get the ore you need to make more of the mining tools you need. Let's see how long it takes to get some ore. Well, there's my first bauxite. I want some regular ore so I can make another hatchet. Because three and three is usually all you need. Sometimes you'll need more, sometimes you'll need less, but three and three is usually a good bet. Hey, and there's the ore for that third hatchet. All right, third hatchet is made. Let's see how true what I just told everybody <laughs> it is. So set y'all up like that. And I keep 20 ore and 20 wood at all times in case I need them to make more hatchets or... or pickaxes and then once I have a stack of 20 iron ore or an extra stack of regular ore or an extra stack of wood I'll toss them I don't keep them because that's not what I'm here in this zone for so I'll get rid of them and now it's just a matter of farming I know this is a long lengthy process so Usually picking up your phone and just taking it with you when you do a load of laundry or some dishes or sweep your floor or whatever it is that you need to do. Maybe a little homework if, if you're going to college or school. This is a good time to start doing a couple of math problems or something. Because um, you know you've killed everything. So it's just a matter of getting everything farmed out and it's kind of boring just standing here waiting for your little tune to finish doing its business. So as long as your food and water is up to a good level, let it go, but set it beside you while you do what you need to do. And once you stop hearing the tink, tink, tink of the hatchet or, or the pickaxe, then you know it's time to either adjust around an obstacle or switch to the next phase. The next phase being put all this stuff away and then go get your iron hatchets out of your chopper and go get the rest of the oak trees. Two runs to the oak zone and no mod recipes. Like I said, I, I've had luck in the red rock zone, but I two runs now, nothing in the red oak zone. Lots of glue, though. I, I'm happy with the glue I've picked up so far. Seven glue, two runs. Not bad. Now, some people say, oh, I need the glue for armor or whatever. But if you only make tactical gear, don't make any armor under that, then you don't need glue for tactical gear. Tactical gear is better than the stuff you need leather and stuff for anyway. And if you do a lot of alpha bunker runs, bring home that cloth. You know, or instead of making the band-aids with the cloth you farm out here, Make, um, just bring the regular cloth back and turn it into the level 2 cloth from your sewing benches. I personally haven't done a lot of level 2 cloth on my sewing benches in a long time. Because most of the time the armor, I, the partially broken armor or the extra armor I get out of crates from Alpha Zones, Alpha Bunker, I bring that home and I've, I've got all this extra, I use it. So I don't have to make a lot of armor. Usually the only time I make any armor is when the raider's tax says make a full set of tactical gear. So it's very rare that I have to use that cloth. So I've got a full level 3 trunk full of level 2 cloth. Everything's very well organized in my base. I know how much I have of what material and what I need to farm more of. 
So if you've got a chest dedicated to that material, then you know exactly what level you are, how much you have of it, so you know where to go next when it says kill 15 Doxic Abominations or open 25 chests in a dangerous in dangerous zones. You'll know, okay, well, I'm low on rock, so let's go to the red rock zone. Or, I need more wood for pine planks, so let's go to the red pine zone. And if you keep all the weapons, you don't usually run out of weapons. You don't usually have to craft weapons. I've had to craft maybe 10 machetes total in the last month or more. Because I keep all the weapons, even the stupid ones, like the cleaver or the crowbar. I tend to take two full machetes or two full something big like a machete or better um, to kill the regular mobs and then I'll use the cleaver or the crowbar or the golf club when I sneak attack on the foxes or deer. So they get used. Sometimes when you run low, you wind up taking those little crappy weapons and using them to kill the monsters or whatever. But that very rarely happens with me, because I keep all the weapons. I take that with me. I'm, I'm not ashamed. I'll use what's laying around. I don't care. I mean, you're a survivor. You're scavenging to make it in a post-apocalyptic world so survivors take and use what they can get or find okay it says you have to craft gathering tool let's see i have about a quarter of a regular hatchet and about a little bit more than a half of a regular pickaxe left i told you three regular hatchets three regular pickaxes and you'll mine everything out so, that's parts done. The last part of farming the zone is putting all this stuff away and then taking your iron hatchets out of your chopper and going to farm all the oak trees in the zone. Okay, where did I park? I think I'm further this way. Yes, I am. Okay, put all your wood, rock, and iron away. And notice I got six bauxite, yay. I'll just set it in there. I'll also put away those axe and pickaxe. I, mean, I don't need those. Okay, four full iron hatchets. I used the rest of that fifth one that I brought with me at the beginning um, after I cleared out all the mobs. So, I'd say there was a fifth of a hatchet left on that. Let's see how much I use. I bet it's going to be about three and a half hatchets. So I bet I'm going to, once I finish farming out all the oak trees, I bet I have more than two thirds of a hatchet left. Maybe more than three quarters of one. We're doing good on time. It usually takes about half an hour to completely farm out a red zone. But, you know, when you're trying to go for as much experience as possible without wasting any weapons, because, yeah, I could come up here and just kill all the monsters, open the chest and be done. But then you've wasted a whole bunch of energy for half the experience, sometimes less if the AI goes around and kills everything you want. So this way, I don't use as much energy, I get all the experience out of the zone, and it's going to be, once you've gotten to the max, you know, you, you notice as you fill up your experience points for your skill rolls, it gets longer and longer between skill rolls. But once you hit that max level like I have, you get about 5% of a level each time you farm a red zone. If you kill all the monsters, you chop down all the trees, get all the rocks, pick up all the stupid fibers, 
this is what happens. You get 5% of a level. So, do you want to just come here and get 2.5% for killing the monsters? Or do you want to make the most out of your energy and get 5% so you get double the experience if you just completely clean out the whole zone? Yes, it takes more time, but what is worth it to you more? Spending real money on fuel or energy refills? Or taking the time and doing other stuff in life while you auto-farm the last half after you kill all the monsters? I think I'm going to take the whole thing. Alright, food and water is good. Clean that out. And you'll pick out at least 60 oak logs each run. If you have skill points in the chance to get an extra log, you'll get a little bit more than 60. Take it with you to your dead body at the watchtower and store it on the body. Once you're done with all three runs, take all of it home. Or just take full stacks of 20 and take dog food or glue or whatever else it is that's important to you at the time off your dead body. And then, if you have a dry erase board, you can write down exactly what's on your dead body at the watchtower. So it's there and you know what you need to bring next time you do a three oak zone run. Many, how many logs do I have? I think we're almost done. Oh, I got an extra log that time. We're at 52. Got about, what, 10 more trees, maybe? One. Two. Oh wait, no, not ten more trees. Probably two more now, I think. One or two. Oh, we got an extra log on that one too. Nice. We are almost done with the run. We're at 33 minutes. No resources to collect. So, now that we're done with that. Okay, so I didn't use as much of the hatchet as I thought I would. That's okay. I'll take it back with me to the tower. I don't want any ore or rock or pine, so that'll stay. I will put the hatchets in the chopper and full stacks of oak and then I'll take what I want. Prioritize glue, dog food, tape. Okay, things that are important to me right now. Uh, saw blades are used for some weapon mods for the saw blade so I hope you're stacking those up at home. The zombie truck wheel is a chance at aluminum bars. This is a chance at, not aluminum bars, steel bars for the truck wheel. Aluminum bars for the beer can. Cigarettes I'll take just because I think they'll be useful for like workers or something in the future. The cell phone for a chance at electronic circuits. Gold bars I think will have more of a use in the future, I think. Actually, let's just take all of this. I have the inventory space. And if you're just saving pieces of cloth for level 2 cloth. If we don't want it when we get to the watchtower, we won't keep it. What else? 
Do I want any of this? Maybe pine log. Okay. Chopper's full, inventory's full. Let's go. Chopper event. Oh, it's so close. Mm, normally I would do this, but I've got a third run that I'm going to be videotaping, so I'm not doing the chopper event. Darn it. Oh, I want to do so bad. I just ran back to the tower. Hit enter. And I start myself right where I parked when I, when I created my locker for my dead body. So now I uh, have to be very careful where I touch. So I just stack this all up in there. No room for the go bars. Well, shucks. What do I want to toss? I'm going to toss the water bottle, toss the cans, go bar, there. Ha! Toss the wood. I don't need that. Okay, so this is seven glue from two farm runs to the red oak zone. Gotten 16 bauxite. I'm stocking up the dog food. These are the, the weapons I have left. I didn't get any water this time. Okay. Well, this is why you bring a little extra water. I only set up for my last and third run. I'll bring three water. I'll bring five food. You never know when an AI is going to come and attack your butt, so you want to make sure you're stocked up on stuff. I'll take six bandages, sure. Mm. So, I'm out of glocks except for the one I've got on my person I will bring three hatchets or not hatchets machetes and use the partially broken one first so I need let's I need to get the stuff off my chopper so I don't take it with me I will take this partially broken one and put it in my inventory I'll make three more to take with me <coughs> so I'll take the materials I need put those oak logs in my inventory in my dead body inventory nails iron bars planks and tape tape plenty of tape plenty plenty of tape so I'll make three one two three Put the materials back away. I'm not going to take those with me. I'll put the hat, the full ones up on the chopper. I'll leave that partially broken one. I'll chop one really quick close to my chopper so it'll just disappear from my inventory. I should be good on weapons. The Glock I might save to uh, kill an AI or uh, foxes or whatever just so I don't have to worry about running after them. I'll sneak up on them. Um, yeah, see there's that stupid house plan I picked up a long time ago and never brought back to my base. So that's my setup for my third run. I'm still not stinky. So I will upload this video and start heading back to the red oak zone, but I will walk so it will take some time. All right. Thank you for watching. If this is helpful, please hit like and subscribe and that notification bell. I do a lot of helpful tip videos, so hopefully this has been helpful to you and you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will update the next one soon. Bye.